any Moodle course is going to involve a little bit of administration and a little bit of pre-planning. Now, there are a lot of pre-recorded lectures that are going to be made available to the students. And we need to look at a way of kind of managing that. So there's going to be pre-recorded lectures and then there's going to be um, kind of uh, uh, online uh, sessions where the students and the tutors um, interact in real time. So th those are kind of the two ways that the online classroom Collaborate Ultra is, is being used. And I just want to review how that might be, uh, how you might kind of set that up. So what we can see here is this, this looks kind of quite jumbled and it's quite difficult for, for anybody really to navigate. Um, I also want to indicate what happens when uh, a single instance of Collaborate Ultra is used for multiple recordings. So you can see here, um, and I'm unable to change these names, they're kind of generic and, um, and unchangeable. Um, so what that means is that there's no way for me to indicate to the students what those recordings are. So what we're suggesting is where you have multiple recordings that take place in a, a kind of a live discussion type of environment that perhaps are linked to a unit, that you have just one area for that and you call it something like online classroom, Collaborate Ultra, what, what, whatever works for you. But that's the place that the students go to for that particular unit when they know that there's going to be um, a, a, a synchronous exchange between tutor and students. So that seems relatively straightforward. And there, when you record those sessions, they will... Um, again, follow this naming con convention of recording one, recording two, recording three with the dates, but it's probably less mission critical um, than the lectures. So if we were to do that with lectures, then it would be very difficult to point the students to, let's say, recording three. And so the way that we think that that's going to work is, is, is it with this approach here. So each recorded lecture has its own instance or own activity, if you like. And um, if, I, if I click here, you can see that it says, um, it's got the word lecture, it's got the role of the critic, and it's got the names of the people who will be delivering that, um, that seminar, uh, sorry, that lecture. Let's, let's have a look at um, this one down here um, by a, a colleague of mine, Richard Reynolds. And we can see that Richard's actually recorded his, um, his lecture, which appears down here. Uh, again, he's sort of following this naming convention here. So what we feel is that um, although you may end up with a number of lectures um, per unit, that this is, this is a, a clearer way of being able to signpost to the student um, what is a lecture and which lecture that is. Equally, having the online classroom um, as a place for students and staff to meet uh, and discuss things in real time, again, clearly defined. Thank you.